made another video of my unit on the Gremlin because I've made some changes. Um, everything worked better than I expected, but I did have a failure of the bubbler, which was very, very thin. That's the bubbler right back there. And you notice the unit's not working right now. Another change I made is I have a momentary switch on the throttle on the inside of the car. And when I throttle, the unit comes on, and when I'm in idle, the unit turns off. So this, this unit only works when the car is moving. And so basically everything else is made the same except I changed this hose to a thicker hose that wouldn't fold so I could continue to use my skull head. But uh, I'm very happy with the way it works. So far everything's been great. The only thing I would change is I would add an easier way to drain it and fill it for cold frozen nights in case I needed to drain it for a hard freeze. But uh, I can I can change that later. I can add something to it and I plan on putting something in. But uh, right now I'm going to uh, fix it to where the car throttles up. Hold on, let me... I had to put a stick on the throttle from the, between the seat and the throttle to make the unit come to life. Let me do that real quick. I'm going to stop the camera. The unit is now active. I put a, a stick on the throttle. You see the bubbler in the back. You can see here, the gas is starting to come out here. I'm going around my skull head here. It works like it did before. My check valve right there is a fantastic check valve. But I wanted to share with everybody the changes on the unit. I really like the way the throttle the unit cuts itself off and idle. It works very well. It takes a lot of gas. It's going to take. Turn the light off. This unit works really well. I'm real proud of the fact that it doesn't run while the engine's idling. And so that, uh, that would just be a waste. Uh, I haven't tested this unit yet, but the one on the Volkswagen had a lot of bugs to work out. And uh, I'm going to be testing it on Thursday. And I think uh, the mileage on that's been hitting in the neighborhood of 50 miles per gallon on that little bug. And uh, this one will never get that kind of mileage because the motor's too big. But uh, I'm hoping to see some real good improvement, even though I have no idea what kind of improvement I'll see. But you see, it's no longer working. The bubbles aren't coming out back there at the bubbler. And uh, it's because it's at idle. The reason I changed this hose is because of the folds in it. And I can't do it. It was folding and shutting off the gas flow. So that was one little kink I had to get past. And then my bubbler failed. The original bubbler I had vibrated had a hole in it. So I added a metal bracket and I put a medical bubbler. I put a little metal bracket in this medical bubbler. has a foam insert like you use to cool, keep your beer can cool. I rounded to keep it from vibration making a hole in the plastic. And um, I think that will last indefinitely. I don't think there will be any problem. So, I think this will be the unit I run. I don't think any potential problem. And this is my spike tube, where I can see how full the unit is right here. It also serves as a place where the flow, if any moisture gets pulled in, the moisture will flow, will separate down and not follow the gas up. It's got a big opening down, smaller opening up, so that's what I've got to set up there. And that seems to work well. If any moisture comes out, 
it tends to go down. This is what I wanted to show everybody on my little unit uh, on the Gremlin. And this is what I'm going to run and I'll be giving everybody updates on how well it performs and how much mileage improvement I get. Thank you.